episode 103 thoughts and friends podcast we have another episode of bachelorette in paradise to discuss uh other stuff to discuss it's gonna be a fun show wes how are you feeling feeling good um before we recorded i proved bobby wrong so anytime i can do that I'm in a good headspace for the podcast and just life in general. So, uh, yeah, feel pretty good. Feel pretty good. Thanks. Bob, how do you feel? You know, I I have felt better. Yeah, she feels wrong. Great. Is how she feels. Mm. I feel there. a little wrong. That's okay. In there. Um, feel a little burnt out. Just in like general, from crisp. life. Mm-hmm. What's got you down? Just. What are you sick lots, of? Lots What's of paradise. Your... I'm just kidding. No, I like watching paradise. Just lots going on, you know? Planning a wedding. Wedding it's drama. Hard. And yet she's still here, folks. She's fucking mm-hmm. dedicated. We show up for you. Out. Everyone out do there listening. Show we show up for ourselves. This is like yeah. therapy, basically. It pretty much counts. Um, Should. I'm in a wretched mood, so hopefully this helps. Let's go. Or maybe we have the most entertaining podcast we've ever had, and you just absolutely <laughs> melt the fuck down. I'm kind of, yeah. uh, you know, I'm I'm hoping for not that, but secretly. You Do know. you guys watch B and C make a podcast or Brooke and Connor make a podcast? I feel like I've asked you before. I've watched it before. Yes, you it's have. You have asked us, and I do. Yes, not a regular, so. but I'm I aware. also I also subscribe to like their exclusive content with the tmg tv or whatever wow okay and i don't know how much it is i think it's like six dollars a month but i don't care um but brooke had an absolute meltdown on their podcast like two weeks ago and it was actually pretty entertaining yeah Yeah, didn't she like have a panic attack yeah show Mm -hmm. yeah i heard about that scary so Mm -hmm. i mean we we've been watching this goddamn Bachelor in Paradise. Obviously, people having meltdowns and losing their shit is 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 what the people want. Uh, That's true, yeah. and yeah. I love Paradise. I think it's, it's great. It's so much. It's so much better. It is so you, much better. Just, yeah, it's so much better. But it's nice to know some of the people too. Looks like we'll see a lot of people coming next that we don't know, and that'll be interesting. But. We learn them. About I recognize them quickly. Well, we can talk about that at the towards the end, like recapping the very. I recognized a few of them. Really, there were some from Clayton season. Yeah, I, I in my head I can't remember their names right now, but there was a, some from Clayton season. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Deal. Yeah, no strangers. Uh, before we do that, nice. before we do that, our good friend Brody did a little midweek concerting. Tell us about your your times last night. Your your adventures. Yeah, you know, I uh, painted my fingernails black, put on the old eye makeup, threw on my fishnet leggings and my spike bracelets, and I went to go see the old Paramore show at the uh, lovely, it's a new venue, it's called, hmm, it's called a new venue in St. Louis? It's in uh, uh, Chesterfield, technically, so it's kind of... Out in the middle of nowhere, shit. but was I know there was like industry something on the wall, or was that? Had yeah, to do with... that's the name of the place. The... Industry, okay. maybe that's what it's called. Industry, <clears throat> that sounds right. The factory, you were... the factory is what it's called. Oh, okay. You were I there, yeah. That. Yeah, it was good. I mean, <clears throat> Haley Williams, it, it, the performance, the music, it lived up to every expectation. Her energy did not cease. Her voice sounded amazing. <clears throat> Wes, didn't uh, you say that you could you could cuff Haley Williams? Or am I misremembering a what? conversation? Dude, you got a shot that would probably. be, yeah, I probably got shot. Um, I uh, was talking out of my ass if I did. Uh, that would be great. I would be very in on that. She'd be, she could be so lucky. Mm, but um, right. how much older? Is she? I, 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 She's thirty three. I look today. She's thirty three. I would have guessed older, oh. honestly. She, she had have been too. so young when they were big then. Because, I yeah. mean, their first big album was what, like, 06, 05, probably? No. 07? That probably, early? Right? Like, Misery know. Business. That was a long time ago. Like, 2008, maybe? That was a long time ago. Either way, she's a queen. She's so cool. She's incredible. I mean, 
the uh, the crowd was very interesting. It was okay. I was going to diverse ask, a crowd as I've ever seen at a show, and not in like a. I mean, there was people that voted for everybody there. There was like <laughs> typical guy that you know fucking probably tweets the n word on Facebook. Tweets the n word on Facebook. That's what I mean to say. <laughs> uh, he finds a way. Um, then, you know, you have your emo folks, a lot of, uh, you know, non-white people there, which you would kind of think maybe kind of uh, emo sort of thing, probably more white people, but it was, everybody was there. Everybody was having fun. Hey, Everyone felt hey. together. Nothing brings people together like Paramore. It was yeah, great. I've been saying was, that, you know, if I had one complaint, the goddamn parking lot at this fucking venue I shit you not, it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get out of the parking lot. There was one out. So it's kind of a strip mall situation, big parking lot. There's one frontage road with one outlet to get back on the highway. So everyone is trying to fit into this one little outlet. New York City gridlock traffic for 55 Um, minutes. That reminds me. It was very frustrating. That reminds me of, have you guys ever been to concerts at the State Fair? Yes. In Springfield, that reminds me of that. I remember taking like two hours to get out of the State Fair concert one night, and it's the same shit. There's like one dude like with traffic lights trying to get people out of there. It's a nightmare. See, they didn't have anyone even directing traffic. It was Lord of the fucking flies out there. It's like, should I go this way? Should I go that way? Should I back out? So many people are like, oh, I'm just going to get out of line. It's like, guys, you're not going to get in a shorter line. We're all fucked. You're not smarter than everybody else. Don't take... There's people going the wrong way down traffic, just clogging everything up people are bumping up on curves driving on the sidewalk i can only imagine your mood in that moment were you getting bad. were you getting upset yeah bad you I, you well the other you, thing did you my, get a little buzz no because i'm sick also so i didn't drink at all and i was driving so i didn't want to drink and uh, my partner who i went with got very drunk so that was also a nice fun added element Mac, a lot of Mac, like Mac. A lot of like her giving me directions on what to do and me being like, well, yeah. I think if either of us are going to be the decision maker here, probably me, <laughs> but oh, you know. I love it. <clears throat> yeah, it was good. You know, hmm. yeah, Fun. Show, show sounded great. It was awesome. Would recommend if you're in a city where they're going on tour, I would, I would buy some ticks. She played all the Concerts. hits. Concerts Little... give me so much anxiety. I like can't yeah. do it unless it's Harry Styles or Taylor Swift. It's we not had uh, we had seats. We were not in the pit. If we had been in the pit, I would have not been having very much fun. Probably. We had some seats, which is always good. I think it depends on the group whether you want to be in the pit or you want to be up in a nice seat. I think Paramore, you know, it could go either way. Depends what kind of mood you're in, but yeah, it could go either way. If venue, I'm sick, it was if fine. I'm sick, probably not in the pit. Yeah, I was yeah, I was not feeling my best, but you know, I toughed it out for Haley. Yeah, no. as you should. She deserves that from everyone. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot of Start notes. Batch. Got a lot of notes. Let's talk some batch, folks. Bachelor in Paradise, two episodes, episode four, <clears throat> episode five. I feel like I watched four so long ago, I hardly even remember what happened. I know. Seems so like a lifetime ago. Monday night, we saw some interesting stuff. Uh, Okay, first of all, Monday night was when Andrew and Teddy broke up, right? Yeah, that was so that was the end of the episode the previous week. And then that kind of the fallout from that. And then Rodney wanting to take Teddy on a date, him kind of being disappointed from that. That's like where we pick up. It's like Rodney, like, oh, what, what? Teddy, Teddy left. Yeah. And like, everyone, everyone, it was kind of weird. Like, everyone was like, oh my God, Rodney, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for Rodney that he did. <laughs> He's I'm like, like, oh, dude, shoot. Dude, who cares? He just moved on to something. Like, it, everyone yeah. was like, I'm he, so sorry. He immediately moved on to Lace, which I couldn't think of a worse pairing. I what a combo. I couldn't have picked a worse pairing. What a fucking combo. Lace and Rodney. That seems... Uh, is there a more unlikely pairing that we've seen so far in the show? I, I don't think Wells, so. Well said. That every every season on Bachelor in Paradise, there's a, this one couple who's like, what in the fuck? Is, I think this, this is the craziest one I've ever seen, personally. 
who would have gotten with lace and you'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense? Um, uh, Peter, who we see here in episode five. Peter seems like a lace type. Uh, honestly, I could see Johnny in lace. That, that kind I of could really? see. Yeah. I'd, I Johnny? honestly, anyone here, I don't really see her with. Same. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying I'm. I would say Johnny if I had to pick somebody. You know, he's kind of Florida scumbag sort of. Yeah. Vibe you know going what on. I think Lace needs to do? Lace needs to get all gussied up, or what she considers to be gussied up. Go down to a local bar, and that's where she's going to meet her match. And I'm pretty confident within that. Um, okay. It'll be within ten miles of her hometown, and that's really where her her stride will be. Okay. As someone in the female beauty industry, Bobby, I think something that would take her a long way, if she would just get rid of those goddamn eyelashes, she would look I pretty know. fine. Those eyelashes are a disaster. She looks terrifying. They look so weird. Yeah, I agree. I feel like the big fake eyelashes are just <laughs> not very satisfying on anyone. But then she's just her lips are a little overfilled so they don't move and the combination of the two is pretty incredible yeah i, I mean i really think if she got rid of the eyelashes it'd be like yeah you know plastic surgery whatever but you'd look kind of you just and also i feel like girls aren't doing this isn't girls aren't is that big is that in right now like eyelashes that was not a thing like yeah, I think I it's it's not as big as it used to be. Like when we were in like high school, like early 2010s, well, I feel like that was... people still do it. People still do it. It just looks more natural. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bobby, when we were watching the show, you you described Lace's figure in a way that they gave Lace. me a chuckle. I would like you to... Sh- I, you I'd shouldn't like have you brought s- this up. Why? I'll say it. Because it's like body shaming, but oh, it's, no, it's I, not. I said she's built a little bit like Mike was asking. Lace? I mean, she's, I don't know. I feel like her body she, is pretty. No, no, like she has the. Like, she's not fat by any means. She's no. got these just like long, really skinny legs, and she always wears high waisted stuff, and it just makes okay. her look like really weird. She like lurches down the beach, like <laughs> I don't even know. I just feel like she. I'm there's so just happy. something about her. I just I'm so happy I made you say that. <laughs> Bobby hate lace more than Casey hates pizza guy. Oh, no. dude, he hates that guy. What the he... fuck is going on there? Yeah, uh, we'll get to that. But uh, I want to say, if you want to play the little drinking game at home, every time they say hot commodity, take a mm-hmm. drink, you'll get pretty fucked up. I yeah. it is so bizarre that you can tell they have like keywords that they put into the show. That's like. You have to say these things because it's not going to be a coincidence that they're all going to say the person is a hot commodity on the beach. Well, I like, think that's obviously just, like a note. I think when you like hear people talking and saying the, like the same words all the time, like you naturally start to say those things as well. Like so producers might be talking to them like, who do you think's the hottest commodity or you know what I mean? Like things like that. And then they repeat it, you know, for sure. Yeah, I think that, that happens to me all the time. I'll watch like some like UK YouTuber and I start saying dumbass phrases that I've never said in my life. It just, just rubs off on you. That's 100%. What, what mm-hmm. other things did you notice other than hot commodity? Anything that... I mean, in Bachelor, there's so much stuff. Like whenever they go on dates, like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm officially falling for... Like yeah. everyone's not going to always be like, that's going to be the words I'm going to use to describe my feelings every time for 15 years in a row. Yeah. That's and obviously never... like... Uh, part of the game of the show basically yeah and i feel like in a normal relationship you don't tell someone like i'm falling in love with you like you just tell them what do you love you don't we just fall in love like that right you know right so it's like what are we doing i would honestly be a little weird it's like you're not just in so why'd you say anything why (laughs) is that like a threat do i need to like (laughs) yeah perform now yeah Man, I'm kind of struggling to think of what else happened on Monday. Oh, we saw them come back from the double date. Yeah. And yeah, the the uh, Justin Aaron fault. We can do this again. We can do this every episode, probably. Uh, While Justin is like 
he feels a little too cool for school. Like this doesn't mean anything to me and it is annoying and he does rub me the wrong way. But like for Genevieve to be mad and then do the exact same thing is so annoying. Man. She's really, she pisses me off. Genevieve's the, the worst. fucking worst guy. She's the worst. I, she I'll sucks. I'll plant my flag. She's the fucking worst. Uh, ugh, she, she makes no sense. She makes no me. sense. She's so annoying. See, I feel like she makes sense to me, but I know I'm in the minority there. I'm aware. Okay. okay. Um, but I feel like she's kind of carrying the show right now. She's a good character because I despise her. Yeah, oh, for her. sure. There's yeah, plenty definitely. of people that I'm looking at the cast here that I just have no feeling for whatsoever. No, they she's just floating in the wind. One of the she's this one of the central storylines. No, no question. We're gonna kind we're gonna... of okay. But then when Justin was like, "It's my birthday. You're not gonna give that me was oh, Justin's awful too. He's They're both that... That Justin's was so weird. Little Creepy, yeah. fucking where's my hug ass motherfucker. <laughs> it Terrible. Was bad. Oh, it was so bad. gross. Made my skin crawl. He's such a sour puss, like you said, Wes. He's I know. just got a sour look. It's like just, just go home. Fuck off. Yeah, I don't Suck think my that this is the place for him. I don't. I don't think. I think he almost seems like he's too cool for this process. Yeah. Or he's too serious. I don't. Ha, not serious enough. I mean. Um, I don't like him. The way Very there's something about it's the way he was like on that last conversation when like she was getting very animated and emotional, but the way he was just like telling her to basically calm down energy, just been like, just talk to me normal. It's nothing. It's, it's just, yeah. just everyone just stay. It's, we're just having a conversation Yeah. while she and was then, like getting, that was, yeah, was, yeah, there's something about him. I think that Aaron and Genevieve really do seem like a better match knowing them individually um, through the show. So what do you think about one thing that rubbed me wrong about Justin and Genevieve's interaction was her being like, you only kissed me one time at breakfast today. And that's the reason that seems like kind of bullshit and a good way for you to seem like you won this interaction. I could be wrong because I don't know if he, she's like, hey, and also, yeah, if you're like, hey, you have to kiss me and touch me all the time or else I don't think you love me. And I understand that's, you know, that's a love language thing. That's a thing partners talk about. But we've also known each other for a day. So that kind of seemed like bullshit to me. What do you guys think? I mean, I feel like her point was more so like, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like she is just trying to find a reason to say it's yeah. not working rather than just saying, I have a better connection with Aaron. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It seems Tough. like she wants to make it, she wants to be the victim in every interaction she has. She never wants to be the person that is like breaking his heart. Well, she yeah. got hurt. For like, for like two and a half episodes, like why, what the fuck were they doing? Just like, clearly, why were they trying to make it work still? Just like every time they talked, no it was just, a, it was just a nightmare for like two episodes. Like, what are we doing? Like no, nothing, no good conversations happened for like two and a half episodes. Why? Finally, they were just like, fuck it. We're done. I didn't yeah. understand why they kept trying. It was terrible every time. And then she did kind of just go on to like shit on him. She's like, you're not ready. You're not serious enough. All this shit. And it kind of came out of nowhere. I was like, well, damn, that was a little bit more than what we were talking about. You're like, what did she say? God damn it. She said that because he because he said that's so disrespectful. You something like you can't you can't give me what I want or you you can't give me what Aaron can give me or some something like that. He was like, fuck. that was kind of that was like the. I'm good. We're done here. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm out. And I was like, yeah, that's about right. Uh, right. Kind of yeah, turned that into... checks out. Uh, and then the big thing with this episode, and I fast forwarded through all of it. We get these married fucks. What the fuck dates. are we doing? I've I didn't watch. I haven't watched any of it. Uh, Me either. I fast forwarded through it too. It's I about do not give a shit. All they talk about are them like farting in the bed. Yes, and, like it's the most trying to like, we, It's gross. That's what marriage is. Okay. I could have known that. I don't want to watch it on TV. It's like they're trying so hard to show you like this process works. It's so good. I but, don't care. But those people I don't didn't care if it leave, works. They didn't even leave Paradise together. He broke up with her in Paradise and he was with <laughs> someone else. So it's like, how is that your... Great example. Bitch? 
Sounds like yeah. there's wanted... nothing interest. Like there's nothing interesting or insightful. Zero. Or she seems doing. like a crazy person. Yeah, they both just yeah, you know, just so normal and boring. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's not really cute or heartwarming. I don't need to no. hear your farts, dude. Oh, we didn't fuck because I was farting last night. Okay, that's just Ew. whatever. I don't clench, care. Clench them cheeks. It's not really. Don't funny, tell us about it. Interesting. It's just the most boring. Uh, they. Uh, why get can't off you, my fucking TV? You know what the worst is though is that when you're dating someone and you can't fart in front of them yet. I'm telling you, your tummy that be is hurting. The worst part of a relationship. <laughs> the worst. Yeah. Ooh. Why are butterflies in your belly? Why did they have to come? Bubbles. Why? <laughs> you don't like him. You just say how to take a shit. <laughs> yeah, um, you just got a fart, girl. Um, why? Why did they have to come t- here to do this? I don't get it. I, no they one gets it. They're like, no we haven't had a date in like six months. Concerning. Whose what problem are... is that? Not ours. But you're making. They it our did problem. it so they could be on fucking TV. Yeah, they probably they're got, all like... narcissists that are on yeah. this show. Like. Yeah. So, okay. You know, that's what it is. They took 16 minutes of airtime on Monday. That's kind of crazy. Like, they're not even contestants. They got a fucking date card. Like, don't oh, care. Yeah, when they did that. I'm done talking about them. Unless you're going to have him pick someone else that's not his wife, don't oh, tell me that. Electric. That then it'll so be funny. interesting. If he yeah. cheats on his wife, <laughs> then I'll be intrigued. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I fast forwarded all that because really I did not, I did not watch on demand or on, uh, I did not watch live on Monday. I did on Tuesday, so I had to fucking endure that fucking gas-filled fucking sex dungeon. <laughs> the boom boom room. Yeah, gross. Yeah. I, uh, uh, anything else I, on Monday? I then wrote Sierra and Michael seemed to have a strong connection, and then kind of out of nowhere, <laughs> they did not have a strong connection. So to me, I, that was the most interesting thing that happened on this episode. I felt like it was one of those things that I could tell he wasn't as into it, but I was hoping he could come around. And it was kind of tough to watch because Sierra genuine, genuinely seems really great. Like, yeah. yeah, she seems so sweet. She's beautiful. Um, and I was kind of sad that she went home because she is ready to be in a relationship and he is not. So I feel like if anyone should have gone home, it should have been him. I agreed. I thought it was kind of bullshit that she left and he's just like, that sucks. Peace. Well, anyway, I'm on the hunt for a rose. I need to find a bitch to uh, you yeah. know, go to the boom boom room with. Yeah, it was pretty fucked up that he was like, I don't think I can get there with. I... It was yeah. all bullshit because he just didn't like he just didn't want it yeah. with her. And just then to just stay that. and then to just stay. He was like. I don't. I don't want to drag anyone through this stuff that I'm going through. I'm just going to yeah. go ahead and stay. I'm gonna stay though. Yeah. My thing is, is like, if you don't think that you're ready to move fast with someone, why are you here? With all due respect. It's an yeah. um, no, no. All these people do. that have these terrible, you know, harrowing journeys to the show, then come on the show like with this <clears> awful <throat> backstory. It's like, why are you here? Seems yeah, like, like, it's a little disingenuous for you to like play son? this. For you to play this card seems a little disingenuous. I mean, it's like, oh, well, I'm handsome and yeah. nice. It's like, well, I don't know. It seems like this is not the way to find the replacement yeah. for your dead wife. But yeah, yeah. What do I know? We know nothing. Uh, anything else Monday? I'm I'm trying to think of anything else Monday. Um, Brandon and Serene went on a date. Yeah. They're gonna get married. They're yeah, gonna be in love forever. <laughs> You know, you think... unless you have any notes, I maybe not. I, that's how I go ahead. It, but go ahead. Do you think I, I feel like before. Ooh, maybe. It, God, it does seem. You mean like quickly. they showed up? They showed up like in an, a relationship and just like yeah. put it on for the show. Yeah, it's possible. You know, I want. No, there was there was like a split second where I was like, I don't know if Serene is as into this as Brandon is. There was some, but I, I don't. I, I was. I'm picking nits. I don't think it's. I think they're going to end up together. Yeah, I think they will too. And I think that he will withstand. He will. He will not cheat on her or um, be with no. anyone else. It'll be her decision, not his. If they are not together, I think we can all that's, agree on that. I guess probably. that's kind of what I mean. It does feel like. Yeah, I don't know. 
There was, there was a part they're... where I was like, man, Serena, I don't know if there was something like her fate. I don't know. Something where she was just like not f- fully into it. I don't know. But I think they're going to end up together. You know, if yeah. you listen to Brandon talk for X amount of True. hours, there's going to be some stuff he says. You're like, roll my fucking eyes. What are you talking True. about? True. Here's a note that I have just on the show in general applies to all the episodes. The little black box over people's butts. Can we grow the fuck up? It's fine. Uh, See a woman's butt on TV, I think. In a, I in think a it's because they're wearing thongs. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Brody's I, like, for the love of God, let us see some fucking But it looks so cheeks. silly. It looks so <laughs> silly and so dumb. And like people watching home be like, what is that? What do you what are we blacking out? We know what a butt looks like. It's fine. ABC. Yeah. Let's all grow the fuck up or the whoever the people are that rate TV. I, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think we can let the kids see some butt. Well, it's ABC. Yeah, grow the fuck up, everybody. It's 2022. And holes, holes might be showing too. So yeah, I mean, if we got butthole showing, then I understand. If we got some some privates, but just some cheeks, these mm. kids can go to the it's beach so themselves weird. and see this. You know it's what I mean? It's so weird like, what they. It's so weird what they will allow and what they won't. Because there's sometimes where they they had a vibrator. Fine. It's but fine. you can't see someone's butt. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. They're all getting I'm fucked up on the show the whole time, getting liquored up. Can't let my guy Brody. Let my guy Brody see some ass. I want to see the cheeks. Yeah. Give yeah, him his you cheeks. Need, you need to see some cheeks. Yeah. Well, it's not a crime. You need to see the Mike Wazowski lace cheeks. All right. Episode five. <laughs> Anything else from episode four? Not really. I don't think. Nah. Sally. That's pretty much how we open episode number five. <laughs> Once again, Bachelor overselling, under delivering. It was an absolute okay, zero. I have... We got seven, eight minutes of good content. They hyped this up for four fucking episodes. Dog. I shit. think she came in guns blazing. Like I feel like she came in with a really bad attitude. Yeah. Why'd you? For come? sure. Why are you? And hanging? she's unhinged. Obviously, and she was like. Woman she was like bragging about like missing three fight flights. And I was just like, it just sounds to me like you're ungrateful because there's so many people who would be like, who would love to have that opportunity. And you're just like flaunting it around. And then you left after a couple of minutes because you couldn't handle it. Cause you've never been on a fucking show like this before. Like so annoying. So many things I, I don't understand about this. Why did she come at all? What was the reasoning if she's in this, what seems like an incredibly unhealthy relationship with her ex husband, fiance, whatever she already didn't want to come. Why does she want to come now? Why do the people at the bachelor insist on getting her on the show? Why? why? Even no if idea. This was the result. Like, why do you care about this woman at all? Why did she ever get screen time at any point in time? Like, I guess her going back to her ex before we saw her was kind of interesting in Clayton season, but not Not really. really. I don't um, give a fuck about her. No, we have no, no reason. We have no no content, no reason no. to like her, to not like her. Really, I don't get the sad. I will like say, this edit of her. Like I will say, she's kind of crazy. But they just made her to be an absolute joke in this edit. Psycho. Like, as brutal an edit for someone in a show like this as you'll you'll ever see, especially a show like this where they try to have a little more uh, dignity than something like the real world or some shit like that. I mean, they just made her to be an absolute cartoon, a fucking Muppet. Yeah. Yeah, I did not like her. I will say Genevieve and Shanae had a little bit of bullying vibes. Yeah. However, however, it was very obvious that she was lying because she's like, oh, I had something come up with work. And it's like they I know that they made her say that or they made her say something like that. Because Wells had already told the story that contradicts that. So, like, the producers, of course, set her up for failure there. Um, it, was, it was such bullshit. Genevieve's such a bitch. I don't, I cannot stand her. I She's can't mean stand girl her. the fuck out of her. She She's the her. worst. The, you were, mind the your own very, fucking business. From the very fucking beginning, she was threatened by Sally because she was with Justin. And then she bails on Justin and has no reason to not like Sally whatsoever, even though Sally does suck. She has no reason to attack her and go mean girl vibes on her because she's not with Justin anymore. It doesn't matter. What does she give a fuck? And then she shows up and then attacks her for that. 
it makes no sense. Genevieve is a bitch. She's probably still threatened, you know, which I don't understand why, because Sally to me seemed dumb, first of all. And I didn't think that she was prettier than Genevieve. I mean, I guess it's not all about looks, but no. No, kind she of all has, about looks for this Genevieve show. has a, a streak bit. where she wants to destroy other people and hold herself up it. and be fucking well, was, Captain you know, America in her eyes and save the rest of the beach from I was, the hell. You know, Sally, like, it was a little harsh there, you know, respectfully. All of that in, in respectfully, in, you know, in the context of the show. Bad move. Didn't like it. Yeah, um, weird. yeah, we got oversold. She was literally on the show for fifteen. <laughs> she was on minutes, the beach, maybe. She was on the entire beach for the in, not not even like an edit for like ten minutes. Total time like fifteen minutes there. Weird. Yeah, I thought that was super strange. And Justin was like sweating. He was like trying to keep her there. It felt like it was awful. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. Then we get some new arrivals, right? We get oh, uh, just the one more, I think, right? Peter, big so Peter. Peter. When when he walked in, I was like, "You've got to be kidding me!" I said, I, I say, said, "No way!" Out loud, I no. I, they keep doing this with this fucking show. He's in the fucking preview of the other. He's in like the oh, he the is? thing where the people are posing at the beginning. He's literally in that for like a split second. Oh, I didn't see that. Me I either. noticed it, was, it. I noticed it. Episode three, I think. It was I a surprise to me. I, I didn't. I, I didn't expect it. I didn't. I know saw that. him. I was like, "What the fuck? Like, how do you not see that and edit it the fuck out? It doesn't make any sense to me. Unless you want people to like slow it down and fan theory it, and like that's the whole point of putting it in there. But like, obviously, it was a surprise for most people. But it seems yeah. lazy to not take him out i know that. i know i want everything to be a surprise like i'd rather not know anyone who's going to be on the beach because i'm pretty sure i know another girl who's coming and ends up with michael because of an accidental spoiler i saw um which i don't know if that spoiler was even true so shaking my head don't tell me um yeah i mean they made just like they did in during the bachelorette they made peter out to be an absolute doofus idiot why would he come back on this show that's why you know, like sally and him it's like i'm gonna come on the show they're gonna give me the worst edit possible believes, make me look like a total fucking buffoon he believes the shit he's saying like he thought he was knocking that out of the park he has to watch this though and be like no one else thinks that and even if even if he thinks they're fucking with him and they're wrong for assuming it i can't believe a man with his ego would come on the show we'll go back and be like, they're going to make a complete fool out of me. Unless he's just so he shamelessly was... like, I love attention. I yeah, love I think... it with every fiber of my being. I think he's just like stupid. Doesn't realize that like all attention is not good attention. And he's just like, obviously there to promote his business and his personal brand. But then he's like projecting that onto Britney. What a man Boy, with that a was tough. pizza chain in Southern Florida be an idiot. I don't think so. <laughs> No chance. He has a, a and a jet ski, and he won that best is. eyes in high school. That was and the most uncomfortable date I've ever seen on this on, if on the he, program. If he was on this date with someone in South Florida, they would have put out. So that's yeah. true. That's he true because they always do for Brittany, the pizzapreneur. Yeah. Uh, oh, Sari, uh Shanae, dodged... Yeah. Shanae said. I don't think anyone's going to want to go on a date with him. <laughs> <laughs> and Brittany has now dodged two people very successfully. She She's had she goes, two swerves. Yeah. She like goes in for the hug, which is very smart. And then she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just like taking it really slow. And then as soon as she gets back, she sees Make uh, it. Andrew and just like gets into it. She's like, I'm claiming it. So there is. What do we think? No worse red flag than someone asking. So, what do you like about me? Oh, what I was mean, the first what thing you say you, to that? What was what was the first thing you noticed about me? What was the first thing? Yeah, that's what he said. Same diff. Yeah. Oh, what a disgusting thing. And to then say. she's like, "Oh, you have really nice eyes." What else? What, what else? And then, and then what? Yeah. What was the yeah. second thing you noticed about me? I think that like asking like after you're dating someone like or after you like have developed like a mutual interest in each other. I think it's fine to be like, oh, like, 
yeah, what's I would your agree. favorite thing about me? Like, I think that's fine. Like after you're like a little bit more exclusive with someone just to like hear what their thought process is to say what else is absolute <laughs> insanity. That's why I'm like, is he a paid actor? Has to this guy can't be a real person. He can't be. Like, right, he said, my biggest fear in life is not living life to the fullest. That's not a real thing anyone thinks. Mm-mm. Although I will say, I feel like the more I watch the show, the more I realize, oh, these, there's some fucked up people out there. These dudes are corny. Well, there's so many people that are fucking weird. And I think that so much of this shit goes to people's heads that it's insane. Like, they really do get a God complex. But remember when Peter's Pizzeria was getting so many bad reviews? <laughs> shit on. They I really mean, were. You know, that's kind of... It's kind of what comes with the territory. Usually, if like there, you get famous and like the internet gets a hold of your thing, they're always going to be negative. It's going to no be matter bad. what. It's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to fucking Bart Simpson call you and order a pizza right. for Dixie Normus and shit like that. You know, that's just what's going to happen. Yeah. Right. What else did we fucking see? Jacob what do we think? Jill. No, I want to. What do we think? Wait a second. What do we think of Brittany and Andrew? Do we care? We'll see. Yeah, I Pen think that it, they would. I, I I'm interested. I don't I, know. I have a thing. I have a thing for Brittany. I I think she's really pretty. I think she's they sweet. could be a good match. I think they seem to jive. Yeah. Their personalities make sense together for me. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I'm I'm interested. I'm not full fully sold, but I am interested. How old is Brittany? Do we no know? idea. But they both live in Chicago, don't they? Interesting. Andrew's very young, right? Didn't he really young, or am I making that up? Hold on. You might be making that up. All right. He just looks young. Yeah, they have these bios with just no information. The biography is season 25 of The Bachelor. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sick. Good to know. Good to know. Um, she was 23 when she was on The Bachelor. So she's probably like 24, 25 now. Oh, I thought she was older. Okay, so no, that's fine. Makes sense. All good. Yeah. Uh, Jacob and Jill. At first, two. whenever we saw the preview, I didn't think it made sense. The more I watch it, it's good. I think it works. And I think they everyone on the beach was like, this makes so much sense. They're both a couple of weird, odd couple of birds there. Yeah. What the fuck was that date, man? That was crazy. That was the most interesting date I've ever seen on any of these shows. Most of the dates are so vanilla and cookie cutter. That was at least, it was something. There was something interesting happening. The courage that it takes to have your full muff out. (laughs) Screaming at the moon. That's wild. That is wild. In front of like an entire camera crew and a guy you theoretically want to date. I would be so so nervous like just because that's like so weird there's so many people there's this strange I bet. lady i bet they had i bet they were covered up I don't or know. there was a thing where they're like okay like three quarters of the crew you're all gonna go we're gonna have like two well, i mean they just have here. a box so we don't know they just had a box over them like their entire yeah. like midsection they just probably just had something i want to believe them. wes okay well yeah i'm, I'm just then, throwing it out there it is wild then, you could like see their shadows like behind the little changing tables or changing things. And I was like, is he back there like putting a like quick pump in so that he can like, <laughs> you, you know? Fluff. You got a fluff. Okay. So <laughs> that's your, your what I was about to TV. say. Tommy, but I mean, Tommy he came said that down. he would fluff it. And I was like, what's fluffing at me? 100%. <laughs> you just whack it around, get a little blood new. flow down there, you know? I was like, how is that a universal thing that everyone knows about? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Fluff. guy code, guy. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. I guess you wouldn't know. No, yeah. you're just slapping yeah. it around. That's wild. Just... Ready to go. Okay. Um, he came down from like his intro. He was naked, no, or he had a leaf. He had, he had a leaf. leaf. He, yeah. he was at something on the show naked at some point, right? Either on his season. Uh, I thought it was just like the tars, like the leaf t- jungle. I could have swore he was butt naked. I, no, on the show, like the first episode, he like gets naked and runs around, I think, on the um, beach. I can't remember would... him being full dick out, but I could be wrong. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a black box out. situation, obviously. That would be sexist if uh, we could just see Jacob's see, Frank see and Beans penis. on TV, but 
No cheeks. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, what happens between them and then Jacob almost fucking this up? What else? What I else? Thought, uh, um, Brandon, Brandon Serene's birthday. Oh, yeah. Um, what'd you think of that? A little tiny side. Cuter cringe. It's nice. Cute. Whatever. It's cute. cute. Yeah. It was nice. It was pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it was nice. It I was just nice. want all I want to talk about is Peter. Like, but yeah, he didn't really do much more. But I love his like, man. Her intentions must be bad because she doesn't like me. That is such a class. Such oh, dude, fuck how how funny. Move. How funny? How funny was uh, was our guy Casey? Just ripping this dude, and then and, you could tell him just just egging him on. Like, dude, do you think she's? Do you think she's got bad intentions? Do you think she's? Yeah, maybe maybe fucking with people on this show. He's like totally, I, dude. Yeah, I mean he hates him as much as Peter for loves real. himself. He despises hates him for real. the guy. Yeah, he yeah. he really despises them. So you know they should fight. They should fight. That'd be great. On the beat, in the sand. celebrity boxing from Bachelor contestants, I would watch. Hundred percent. I would watch. We got a bunch of big, strong, sexy young men. Looking to throw some fucking hands. Well, you know, they are sexy. I can admit that. They used to do these like winter games or they did it once or twice where it was like instead of paradise, they were like in Canada or something in the winter. And they had like all of these like challenges and like you had to get together still. So, yeah, very interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. if uh, Interesting. I could be into something like that. I'll take yeah. anything I can get, you know. I'll 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 roll around in all kinds of slop. You're a damn fiend. Yeah, can't get enough. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh, um, the I thought so. Uh, what's her nuts comes back? Uh, Kira comes back, oh. and I was like, J- she comes up and she's like, Jacob, uh, I have some unfinished business. We need to talk. I thought she was pregnant. <laughs> She'd be like one day pregnant at that point, dude. I don't know. I'm I, I'm an idiot. I jump. Yeah. I, that's what I thought. Okay, that's what I thought. Anyways, I thought. I mean, Jill's Jill is a nutcase. I thought she was she overreacted a little bit. Like, yeah, we don't know. We don't know how long they were over there. Like, but he was time. like rubbing her hand and stuff. I'd be yeah. pissed too. Sure, I would have yeah, lost my sure. mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, he yeah. I've close. never been known to be the most sane person, but yeah. I would have lost my mind too, but I would have never gone to bed because I would have like kept my eyes right there or I would have walked up to him and like, what's so on? what's up? What do you guys want he to talk ended about? Up. He got there in the end. Yeah. yeah. He went back. He, did he the right thing. told Kyra. He was very, uh, Kyra. What's her name? K- Kira. Kira. K I R A. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, now I lost my fucking train of thought. Yeah, he's very transparent about his thoughts and his feelings. Yeah. Jacob did a good job. But he's... when she was like, "You felt like home," it's like you guys barely. Did. What the fuck was because that? this shit is? Why did they let her come insane. back? They needed some drama. There's no yeah. girls left. They know like half these guys just have nothing. They got to throw some fucking wrenches Boy. in it. Kira's is that enjoying her fucking free vacation in Mexico somewhere? Like, sure, I'll go back and get on camera. Fuck it. Yeah. I love and handing then, it up for the cam. And then, and then she's like, "I'm in love with Romeo." Actually, Romeo's yeah, yeah. like Romeo's like the whole a goddamn time. buzzard, just flying around the beach, just <laughs> waiting for any scraps. Just gonna dive in and fucking prey on any 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 girl lady that's that's kind of. You know, He's... on a on her last leg. He's ready to just swoop in. Like, oh, hey, babe, are you okay? It's He's so, so buzzard. <laughs> He's an absolute fucking beady-eyed vulture. Dude, he did not want to leave. No. How about that edit there where they zoomed in on his face and he was like terrified smiling? I wonder the if way he the knew music and the edit was, was. Sorry, what'd you say, Bobby? I wonder if he just knew he was going home regardless. For sure. Yeah, yeah he's my... screwed. That was like, my thought. It's like the only way I get any sort of win out of the situation if I say yes. <laughs> the way they edit it, both with the music and just the editing, made it seem like the start of like a true crime thing where a guy was like <sighs> murdered by his wife. He's held captive. Yeah. I She's like smiling. If... She's like, mm, he always was the one for me. He's like, I wonder you guys if never either one of them have posted. I want to look and see if either one of them have posted and like if they're even together. Romeo, he's not allowed his phone tied up in the basement he hasn't posted at all 
dude He's is probably tied up. He probably likes it though. Yeah, he was so screwed. He was. It feels like so many. I feel like we have way, way, way too many dudes right now. Um, Wait, Romeo went to Harvard too. Yeah. So so did Kira. So maybe they have that in common. Maybe. I mean, maybe they, they were dating before common. the show started. Maybe they were. Maybe. Maybe. Fuck it. Um, it feels like we have a ton of dudes that are just like vibing, just hanging out, just waiting to go home. Yeah. Like with no shot. What's the deal with that? Well, they're um, going to reintegrate all these women in the next episode. Oh, that's uh, true. Balance yeah. the scales. They yeah. needed to. It was getting to a weird spot. Yeah, for sure. And so I think that now is when we'll see that. And I really hope that next after that, they take and put all of the girls with new guys next. I don't know if they will. <clears throat> I hope so. It seems think so. Yeah. Seems like there would be some. Uh, I would hope so too, but we haven't seen like guys some, pack your bags. It seems like there would be like some uh, pushback from the community if they just did it for the girls. Not well, for they the guys. always that fuck over the girls fun. because the girls are the only ones that have ever had to fuck with the double bachelorette or anything funky with yeah. that. So I just think they're a little dumb sometimes. So hopefully we get the guys in a hotel shaking in their boots. So what yeah, are we watching the guys squirm is a little more fun. Like whenever you watch the girls squirm, it's a little like uncomfortable. You yeah. Know? Yeah. There's kind of they're sad and they yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the guys, yeah, kind of freak out a little bit. How it's about like, yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh? How about uh how about Bobby's Logan? boy boy Logan? Good or bad? How did we, how did we forget about this? How did we um, forget to talk about this? Bad, bad. For for a guy who is like pretty smooth a lot of the time and like pretty rehearsed and put together. I didn't think it went that well. Is there anything more unsurprising than the fact that Logan used to be a snorkel fucking uh, just hammer uh, meat nail tour just guide? couldn't be more on the head. Yeah. Yeah, he used to be a snorkeling tour guide. What the fuck is a what snorkeling is that? tour guide? That's not guide? a job. Where I did have you no do idea. that? Uh, the fact that he took off his lucky beads that look to be wood and put them in a bottle, sunk that bottle, and then went and got it. That was the weirdest thing. And if a guy ever tried to gift me jewelry or anything like that of his, that I'd be like, no, it's okay. You're going to need these beats more than I do. Yeah. Yeah. You it's need also like a me, weird, dude. like marking your property sort of thing. Yeah. Like I put this on you. You're going to have to explain it to every other guy. I'm like kind of sabotaging you with everyone else. It's like putting a goddamn brand on a fucking cow. It's a little gross to me. Dislike yeah. Logan. I it just was, it, top can't to deal with him. Not good. half baked idea. Good. Yeah, the, the so thought weird. was there. I guess the execution yeah. was piss poor. Poor. Hate. So we have we have we have what's his name? James. Yeah, the other guy. But yeah. Do you guys him? think that she likes him? Real quick. No. no. I think she's using it as a, just a leverage play against Logan for him to maybe, but she does correctly. keep crying about it too. Yeah, that's true. I'd, I think I don't I know can't. if you can improve your bachelor image more than Shanae has this first five yeah. or six seasons Come back, or kid. episodes. She, oh, really I will good. say, she was she was right there with Genevieve when we were doing the bullying. True. Yeah. How, how true. about them? Yeah, They're just like, a dynamic tag team now. After the, I feel like she was more on the outskirts. Rivals. She was like, she yeah, was assi I would assistant agree. coach there. Yeah, she, she was. participated was not the 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 primary instigator. I thought there. at one point she was going to turn back to Jenny and be like, "Really? I don't know. Let's relax." <laughs> it's like, do you even know yeah. who this person is? Yeah, I think uh, now is so, a better time than ever to tear these motherfuckers. What let's do, you do guys it. Yeah, say? bring them up. I was going to get into. I feel like we have some scrag uh, stragglers. We got Casey. Really has nothing going on. I feel like. James kind of has something going on, but I think we kind of know he doesn't. Romeo's gone now. And the fact so, that we haven't gotten a rose ceremony and we had Justin. two episodes. Is yeah, that wild. was weird. That was weird. Justin kind of doesn't have anything going on. Yeah. Okay. So um, we'll start with Victoria, right? Since we're just Victoria, she order was here. Base, pretty much not even on this episode. She talked with uh, old pizza guy Peter. and just was like, no. Ripped him. Yeah. Absolutely like, no, thank not. You. So, I mean, I don't know. She's like, got to be C or D probably. Yeah. Doesn't like, do that much for me. Probably D right now. I mean, she's just not even mm -hmm. on the show, basically, you know, like. 
This right we're now, going per episode. So yeah, D. Right this now, week, yeah. this week she's a D. Uh, what do you think about Sally? I was, I had D. high expectations, but, but uh, you know, we got C. She was definitely more entertaining than Victoria this week, without five, a doubt. For for her five minutes, sure. C, okay. without a doubt. Shanae, she's just still in the mix. She's everything. She's everywhere. But is she S still this week? I don't think she had an a? S week. I'd, I'd say who, I'd put her A this week, right? Who had a better week? Peter's an S. S. S with a fucking bullet, right? Yeah. Like, most yeah, entertaining yeah. thing we've gotten in, in quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Jill. If we're going off pure entertainment, then yes. Jill, Jill had an a... S this week, I think. That's yeah. bold. She did have a she date. Put her she put her vagina did. out. A she at the low. Yeah, she got. She, she, she Yeah, she got ass naked. S. James again, just like you're just kind of. Ah. He didn't have a. We he hardly have a saw week. him. Yeah, he's probably D this week. Probably. Yeah. You, know? you hate to he see. He had it. his big bro moment. Although he's... he was he was bitching about Peter, right? Was that was he was he the one bitching about Peter with Casey? Kind of. No, that was Michael. Wasn't, weren't they talking shit about him? Yeah. Oh no, he okay. was. He was. Casey, uh, Casey, and Michael were the ones that were making fun of everybody when they were playing football on the beach. Oh. That was kind of funny. And then yeah. later, it was Casey and James talking shit. Yeah. Got it. Okay. What do we think about James? No upper body tattoos, completely filled out leg sleeve. Leg sleeve, like, yeah. Wow. From what it seems like, hip down, full tattoos, like... no tattoos anywhere else. Seems on like his knees, on his knee or like around his his quad area was like leopard print. Is that what I'm seeing? I don't know. It's, it's check it out. Thing. Let's take a look. I seems like it. Like, you like What's up with that? I. I I don't mind a leg sleeve, but having zero tattoos anywhere else is it throws me. And it's an it's an aggressive filled it's out sleeve. Yeah, yeah, it's it's full real deal. I don't uh, know his last name. Does anyone? Bosnall, B O S N A L L. I think. Yeah, Jesus. I have pulled up here. Okay. Here's an interesting one because she was barely in it, but then came back and had kind of a big moment. So I don't think she's D, but like similar I to think Sally. She's in, she's in Sally land. Yeah. I think. I could have done well. I feel a like, quick hitter. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Quick hitter. Her and I Sally, agree. pretty much the same this week, I think. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Sally could quick. be a little. I don't know, maybe. Aaron. I mean, I think him and James are together again. He was hardly even involved, really. This I like these episodes, right? I I do too, but I'm I just think saying. he did more this episode than Aaron because or For than sure. James because he was like they were like making out in front of Justin. And... Was that? I, I think I'm getting my episodes mixed up. That was episode <clears throat> yeah. four that all that was happening. Okay, yeah. he was right, in the mix. Probably, thought, probably, yeah. C I'm cool or B. with B. I think B is is B. cool with me. Justin. I mean, him and Aaron kind of have to be lockstep. No. I do hate him, but he does suck. You I know. agree that he was more entertaining, though. This is about entertainment, not if you like him or not. But, I mean, no, but I know. was he even though? <clears throat> could he be here? Like, was he that entertaining, or was it just like grow the fuck out? Like, I don't know. That's true. I That's I, I would say like it was compelling, but most of the time I was just like, I don't fucking care about this guy. Get him off my TV. Yeah, yeah. probably see. He... Okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Uh, Michael, Michael, Boy. for this mm. motherfucker, for this dude, Michael, that my guy, Mike, Michael, Mikey, Sir, uh, Sierra, bought, purchased, with money, a constellation for him and his dead wife and his son, and then he says, "Oh wow, that's nice, that's great." By about the way, that, about that, you know, I've been thinking. A lot of done. women on this beach. We're done. Six stars, we're done. That was wild. That's a wild that move. That was wild. You're going to leave? All right. Well, I'm going to stay, but, you know. Good for you. <laughs> Thanks for the stars. Yeah. I feel like he's there with, like, Aaron. I'm fine with that. Yeah, because yeah, episode five, he's basically a non-factor, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Oh, our girl, our queen. She was she was the only one, like, in the bottom tier last week. So she, I think yeah. she's on the come up. <laughs> She did. Uh, she had a much better episode. She mixed it up with Andrew. Obviously, the date with the fucking pizzapreneur was electric. I think we have to give her an S for just being the one to go on. I was going to say A. I was going to say A, but she did earn that fucking that. She spent like she six did. hours with that guy on a yacht, and she like went for it, made out with Andrew, and then we saw. Um, I don't know. I. 
I would be okay with A since we didn't see her as much Monday, but I feel like she's been kind of an underdog. I feel a little bad for her. She was very funny in her description of how the date went, so I'm going to put her ass. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I'm cool with that. Oh, Romeo. Oh, oh, Romeo, Romeo, sweet Romeo. You Just for the facial expressions fuck. at the end alone. Uh, he's got a pretty, DC, pretty right? funny. Pretty funny. Yeah. If not better, just because he's probably going to get chopped up into little pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Romeo could go at like C. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm with cool that. with C. Yeah, I'm cool. cool with C. Serene, again, she's on the show. She's, she's in great. love. She's, she's great. Good. I have no no negative things to she's say about her. Pie. She's a little boring, but she's a sweetie pie. But it's a little boring. It seems so like we're pretty. gonna have a stuffed God. C tier here. No, no, I think D. Fuck it. Oh, okay. So her brand she didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like um, she cried about her birthday. That's it. So they went on. Didn't they go on like a whole date on episode four? Yeah. I, oh, I don't remember I anything. About that. Falling, I'm I'm falling I don't remember anything you. about it, but they did. Let's be honest. Brandon is really carrying the relationship as far as content goes. Yeah. I think we got to put him C. He's such I a know. sim. Yeah. He's such a sim. Because like these two are complete non-factors. It's not fair to have Brandon yeah. and Serene in the same level as James and what's this woman's name? Victoria. 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 Casey. Yeah, Casey, 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 Casey. Casey. He's the so narrator funny. of the show. I think A. I think he is I think a he high enough quality. Kind of he does... He does nothing as far as like mixing it up dating. with the women, like dating or anything. Maybe like that. asexual. But his his commentary, his commentary. He, yeah, he is so much just like the bartender, just like the roaming bartender. He's, Everyone he's needs working a the, host. Work in the room. Everyone needs a host, and he's so funny. Yeah, hey. I agree. Like, yeah, if I'm the producers, I'm gonna try and Jerry rig up some uh, shenanigans to keep him on the show as long as possible. Oh, 100%. for sure. Yeah, he's so funny. So, Love I it. mean, I'm going to guess one of these new women he's going to take a liking to, whether they actually like each other or not. Oh, Jacob, is he Take S it. again? Back to back? He's got to be. He's I mean, if Jill's S, he's shows. S, right? Full, full twig and berries. Yeah. How out. S tier. I think he's the only repeat because Shanae was, Shanae was, was S there last week. And um, Genevieve was S tier. Genevieve was S tier. I, I, oh, my girl, Loose. Loose Lace. Ooh, I bet she's been called that before, actually, now that I say it out loud. She's been called it on the show. Loose Logan called her Lace. Loose. I hate the name Lace, too. Yeah. Me, too. Yeah, it's it like sounds stupid. like you was born to be a bartender. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you smell like cigarettes. Uh, yeah, Lace. I agree. There were Lace. a lot of laces at the Paramore concert. I'll the, say that that archetype of person uh, was heavy. Ew. You know, just white people shit. Um, hot. So, deep. so hot. She's, she couldn't be more boring, Try, guys. Trying to think. What did, what did she do? Did she do it? Well, I mean, she Rodney. got with Rodney. She was the hottest commodity on the beach. I thought she That's made something. out with him last week. No. No, that was, that was the that opening. Was that was Monday. the opening oh, of Monday. Monday. No, I don't like it. I I didn't find that entertaining. I don't like it. So I'm I'm rooting for S or sorry D. God, man, I don't know if she deserves just D. the sheer I, shock factor of those two getting together was entertaining. I guess, but is that, I mean, I guess that has everything. I was gonna to do say with her. I was gonna say B, but we can compromise. B. You were you were I gonna see. say B. I I might have been out of line. Explain your stance. Yeah, Bob gave a good. Good. Did uh, she, what did she say? Well, whatever. Just explain your stance. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that she has thrown herself, her hat in the ring as a long-term player on the show. She's corralled one of the hottest commodities going, and she's made moves. Everyone wants a piece of Rodney, and she was able to tame the, the Rodney beast. I think that Here says something. Here's what D's. I don't think D. I don't think D. I think we put her in C, but some of these people need to move up or down from C, I think. That's Thoughts. fine. It doesn't have to be balanced, but yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Who who from C do you think could go up or down? Justin could go down. Justin. Okay. I don't know if anyone can go up. Man, I mean, Sally was probably more as entertaining as the two guys in B, though, no? 
But it was so You're probably weird. right. And then, yeah, she but she's two um, nights of episodes. Yeah, but she's gonna be gone. like, what did Aaron do though? I guess he was making out. Yeah, I mean they're all making out. To be fair, yeah, yeah, I don't know. there was no more exciting electric five to ten minutes than when Sally was on the show. For sure. She's gonna be gone, so it doesn't matter. It's this week only. She's not even gonna be right. on the tier next week. Move her up, laces and C. Loose Rod again, Rodney. I mean, he's got to be with Lace. He's basically not on the show, pretty much. Yeah. You know? He hooked up with Lace, and that was kind of the extent. We, I, gonna... we love Rodney. Rodney's great. I would almost I'm argue. sure he's going to have weeks where he's much higher on this list. I would almost argue that Rodney should be in D. Man, yeah, he was not on the show very much. He was not he? on the yeah. show. And when you on the flip side, Lace... If we if we want to play the stock game, everyone was after Rodney. You have to give Lace credit for getting Rodney. Do we have to discredit Rodney for, in our eyes, settling for Lace? Put him in D. That's a yikes. He was. This is he a was shot laying... to the producers. Well, I'm. You know, Rodney's gonna have to earn it these next few weeks. You know? Free my guy, Rodney. Room for improvement. Yeah, we are trashing He's... Lace, and I I want to say that I'm sure she's a nice person. Yeah, we really do go a little harder on her than all these other people. I will say, and I we, was I was very mean to Genevieve too. I would like to take some of that back. And Logan, I mean, you know, pretty much all these people, we don't have very nice things to say about almost any no. of these people. Well, they all we suck. Don't, they don't really give a fuck. For That's anyone why. listening, I know that I too suck. So in her Instagram, she looks so different. Oh my god, okay. who? I mean, Lace? Good. yeah. Lock in. Um. Uh, fucking Florida Johnny. I will say his stock plummeted. He was, was he even on the show? Didn't even see. I, I don't. I don't He's remember. By who? Victoria. Oh, I didn't oh. even realize they were together. They were just think. making out the whole time. Huh. Nice. Oh, and yeah, let's go ahead. One time when Peter, tea. when Peter what? came in and and pulled her for the for the chat, he was like, I mean, yeah, she's the hottest one here. I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> He did His say that. Eyebrows are awful. Yeah, Logan. <sighs> God, he's a gift that keeps on giving. No, I mean, him and Serene. You know, it's it's good. I mean, he's probably hmm. Shanae, not Serene. D. Yeah. God, I can't stop doing it. D. Bullshit. A or B has I was to say be. A. I was gonna a. say A. I don't the like The only thing either. he did was put his shitty wooden bracelet yeah, into I mean, a fucking like, champagne that was, bottle. Dude, that was electric. Though. That Do was we so have funny. Michael too low? Should Michael be A? Yeah, maybe oh, that was no. that was that was unbelievable that he okay, did that. Fine, fine, that was the fine. I think that was the most out of line moment of the entire show so far. If we want to, he might be the biggest scumbag <laughs> on this whole show. Peter <laughs> that included. Was wild. Uh, mm. Okay, so she then gave, Logan B. She pulled out. She showed up with a folder with a certificate for a constellation, and he was like, "I right, well, that's cool. Here, here's the thing." I think this is my moment. I've been waiting for a good time to <laughs> break this news. Gonna, this seems ripe. Six stars. I'm going to stop you there, though. We're done. <laughs> 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 and the way he was saying it, he wasn't saying we're it's breaking over. up. The way he's saying it, it's like, are you telling her that you're breaking up with her? This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> or, and he was like, we can be friends. It's like, not the classic, like, we can be <sighs> friends. Like, just get fucked. It's not Come you. On. It's not you. <laughs> get fucked. It's not you. It's me. And Oof. like the whole thing is like, I don't know if I'm ready to like let someone in to be the mother of my children, but I'm sure one of these other random women on this beach, I could, you know, the possibility what he was is trying probably to say there. Is I'm not ready to let you in to be. Yeah. Yes. The mother yeah. Of he was just. Yeah. He was just not ready. To commit to her, and he just should have manned the fuck up and said that. Logan's in B. Yeah. We say that to say. Andrew, again, just like he's not even Ghost. on the show. He made a move with Brittany. That was cool. I hope that works out. But like, yeah, D. Yeah. Yeah. Jen, back to back weeks. Probably S or A. Yeah, for sure. Um, I can't decide. We can kind of move these around. Do we still agree on all of these, Shanae? All these? I, I feel I like... think Genevieve's S, because we had the whole Justin... Yeah, she did movie. a lot of drama. Yeah, Rich Justin guy, Aaron, and then Sally. She was big in the Sally thing. Yeah. I mean, all these other people, right. you know... You know, Pete, he's kind of in one storyline. She's in one story, like... 
you know, Genevieve. When you're right, you're right. Multiple storylines. I think this is this is it. Carrying the carrying the show. Carrying the show. Definitely. All right. There as we look it. at this, do we have any qualms? It seems it seems good. I will I say I th- um yeah, it's kind of a weird I don't want everyone to be in like C, but like Aaron, I, I do get that Aaron didn't do a ton, if we're being honest. Yeah. He yeah, seems high. I mean, you know, it's, whatever. It though. seems him and Justin seem like they should. I mean, if anything, Justin was more involved than Aaron was. If True. They, Aaron was just kind of like a bystander, like, whatever. He's just like, whoa, that dude <laughs> is tripping, bro. <laughs> dude, like, <laughs> Genevieve, our connection's so sick. Dude, this bitch is like so chill. Dude, she's mad hot. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, I feel like I still like them. I feel like James like just kind of gets like left in the background. He needs yeah. to he needs to yeah. like Here's either he... do something else or just like don't be like the sidekick to Aaron. He needs to punch Aaron in the face. He yeah, I need these two to throw shadow. down. Yeah, he needs to break out of his shadow. Right now he's just Aaron's friend. Yeah. Gotta claim yeah. gotta claim your spot. I don't know if punching him is the move, but I would like it. Yeah. Any any, I, any uh any qualms? I feel like I, I do think that we could have had one episode per week and have it be more action packed. And if we're gonna have two episodes a week, I need a rose ceremony every week. Yeah, that was weird. And the shitty thing is, if we just cut out all the married people stuff, we have time for it. Brutal. Right. We should. And it's a good point, though, Brody, because you said that they want it to be way more guys than, or, sorry, the opposite, so that when they bring in those other girls, they have enough guys so that yeah. like five of the guys aren't going home or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which makes me think, like, how did how could you plan for this? Like, are you? Are we calling these girls up like day of? Do we have like a alternate just pool of girls ready? To I think like it's all planned call? from the beginning. But like, right? it doesn't seem like you can plan like three of these girls to self-eliminate this fast. That's true. Yeah, that's I don't good, think that point. was planned. I think that point. it might be expedited, you know, and they sure. probably didn't think that Sally would leave so quickly. Um, yeah. So they probably should have brought in another girl this episode, but oh well. Oh well, they brought in Peter instead. He's such a fucking dork. He's so funny. Yeah, he is. So funny. So goddamn funny. Uh, he is why does so everything funny. out of his mouth have to be like a pizza pun? It's awful. The, so the crazier thing than the pizza is that everything he says is about himself. Yeah. Without yeah. fail. He's, he is so like into himself for for no reason. Like his hair when he got off that boat, Tommy like was watching with me and he was like, What's going on there? I was like, I have yeah, it no was idea. It was, so it was like he's it was not, I mean he's not. balding, his hair's going and he's not ready to admit it. Yeah. He's, he's not probably gonna get some like an attractive boutique. guy, right? No. I no. mean respect from bachelor perspective, no. From like, you know, just everyday normal yeah. people. Okay. Yeah, that's he's, what I mean. That's what I mean. He, he, I mean, he is like, he's fit. He's fairly tall. He's, he's tall. got really white teeth. He does have nice eyes, but he's a total fucking asshole, which is yeah, you know, pretty on. unattractive. I have something to add that I forgot to add earlier. Do you okay. know who else won best eyes in their high school and had that in the yearbook? Tommy. Yes. This girl. Oh, you and Pete. Wow. I was also voted uh, most likely to become famous. So, well, we're so working on it. Basically, your path to Bachelor in Paradise is pretty apparent. I think mm-hmm. we've got some serious momentum going here. Yeah. Yeah. So, just let that sink in for you guys. Uh, what were your superlatives, Brody? I don't think I won any. For being honest, <laughs> what a loser! I'm pretty sure I didn't win any. <laughs> Sad. Poor Brody. Uh, I won. I won most athletic kind of by default and then uh some other ones we didn't have a lot how, of kids how yeah you have 20 default? kids in your graduating class so it's like <laughs> you should have won about 35 percent of them yeah damn yeah i had like 79 in our graduating class yeah 
Damn, that's Same. a lot of eyes. It's a lot of eyes. A lot of eyes. Yeah, me and my first boyfriend ever won wow. together. Oh, so it was but, Rick. It was Rick. No, I got it. we weren't. We dated in fourth grade. Oh, fuck you're, you. Okay. Yeah, fuck but that you. was my first boyfriend. I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend until fourth grade. So, what changed in fourth yeah. grade that, uh, <laughs> I that don't you know, know. You, you were ready? <laughs> Whose parents, rule was that? Your my mom? My parents made that call. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and... Fourth grade. I think we'll that's let her about right. Spread her wings at fourth grade. Normally, it's like sixteen for out. people. I was and like. A fourth grade That's boyfriend weird. is not the same thing as a <laughs> so no. boyfriend. It's just not even real. It's like, no. yes, my girlfriend. We've never spoken to each other in real life. Nope. But uh, I, know. I don't even we like go to the her. same school. Never spoken to her. I only mention it because my email had his name in it because I didn't realize that. You, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that you couldn't change your email address. Oh so. no! What For was it. the email? Uh, Bobby Love and Grant at <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, mm-hmm. that's so funny. Ah, yeah, that makes my I skin love crawl. That. Yeah, I hate that line. <laughs> Ugh, that is awful. Yeah, yeah. Still and use it? I, you still use that? I, you know, I could probably hack into it, but right. I don't. <laughs> That'd be Crazy. funny if you did. That's so yeah, funny. no, that's what I send the link out to the show. Bobby, love and Grant. I'm glad I finally know the uh, backstory to what's going on there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So oh, uh, just shoot me an email, folks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bus- business yeah. inquiries to Bobby Love and Grant at, <laughs> at MSN.com. I should make a new one for the wedding, just like Bobby Love and Tommy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yahoo. That's what would be funny. Do it. No. You'll always be comparing him to Grant, though. Yeah, yeah right. Never compare. He'll Sad. never be Grant. No. Yeah. Who can Tommy be Grant? Showed, Tommy shows up to some kid Grant's house. Like, what the fuck's your problem, bro? Hey, Grant. Fucking pussy. Yeah. Fun times. Anything else, folks? <sighs> no. You're going to pick some games again? Oh, yeah. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, my gosh. Bobby, you were 0 3 last week. <laughs> But I was one and two, and Wes was, so was, uh, so was I. one, one and two. two also. Yeah, I want to pick. Yeah, All right. Pick some fucking, games. Oh, I need to pull up the fucking lines here, actually. Okay. Give me one second. So, to... so how am I picking like the teams? Like, What if I actually say two people that are playing each other? We'll just tell you. We'll just tell you and tell you to pick someone else. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go. This will be your favorite. So pick any. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. I guess it doesn't picks. matter. Whatever you say, I guess. So you can... pick your favorite. So the Eagles. The Eagles they're probably, probably favorite. Favorite. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're Where six points they? favorite. Six point favorites against the Cowboys on Sunday night. Okay. Okay. I thought you meant my favorite team. No. Either. Okay, well, that's what I meant. Um, okay, then I'm gonna go the Baltimore Ravens. Let's see. They they're may... probably a favorite too. Mm, can't pick them. Well, wow. I guess you could pick them for the total. So you're picking a team that is an underdog, a team that is not favored to win the game. They are favored oh. to win the game. You could pick them and say their game will Kill, score yeah. over or under 45 points in the game. You could do that. Does that make sense? So they play the Giants. That's okay. I don't okay. need to pick them. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do the... Um... <laughs> The Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, actually, they're they're dogs. I think. Are they? They're playing the Bills. Mm, yeah, they are. Okay. Dogs at home. I like it. I like that's it. Actually, that's wild. Good pick. Honestly, good pick. Okay. Got that game. Right, fucking now, rules. Oh yeah, so sick. Uh, yeah. All right. Pick any team, and we'll tell you who they're playing, and then you can pick over or under a point total. Okay. Who does Joe Burrows play for? He plays for the Cincinnati the Bengals. Bengals. They play okay. the New Orleans Saints this week. Okay, I'm I'm picking that team. Do you think okay. those two teams will combine for more or less than 43 points? More. Okay. Fuck yeah. Life's too short to bet the under. Mm-hmm. That is. Joe Burrow, right. that's a gorgeous man. He's a handsome guy. Jesus. Yeah. I think he's I think yeah, Wes. he's he no, he is. I'm just saying the his uh, aura swagger. And his swagger adds very much so it to does. that. Uh, I don't think he's like 
knock out 10 out of 10 attractive, but his yeah, overall. I do. It absolutely lost in that guy's eyes. He has beautiful yeah. fucking eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Good set. Of, good set. Of, I bet he won best eyes. He, yeah. yeah, maybe. He has great veneers. He's He got some veneers. He got a bag and fixed his teeth, you his know? Teeth Hell yeah. Great. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Any other sporting things that you guys want my opinion on? <sighs> um, I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. Oh, I was going to say something. We brought it. Fuck. What was it? Mm. Damn. Oh, I hate football? when that happens. I don't know. It was yeah. something for you, though. Something for um, you to talk about. Mm, just text yeah. me. Um, I'm going to go eat some cookie dough. All right. Have a good time. Right, because you guys are just playing sports now. Yeah. <laughs> just, just playing man. around. Just, we're going to play catch. <laughs> play a little game of sports. Catch. Bye, losers. Oh, See ya. Bye. Feel better, Brody. All right. I'll try. Thank God she's gone. Thank God that fucking bitch is gone. Let's talk about some goddamn fucking football. I won't lie. I'm not very prepared for this because I'm sick. No, I wasn't last week. Who gives a shit? Fucking, I don't know. But I am loving that Kansas City plus two and a half pick that Bobby gave out. I think I am going to tail it. You're going to tail that? It's going, it's moving up. It's going towards Buffalo. Really? Yeah, it opened at one, I think. I mean, it's pretty inconsequential numbers. It's gone from one to two and a half, but yeah. yeah. That's going to be my dog, I think. All right. I think I might just play the over in that game just because I'm not going to play the under. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It feels low, though. You know, it feels low. It's 53 and a half, but it still feels for those Deceptively good defenses, I think. Both teams have pretty pretty okay defenses. Yeah, you're right. When you're right, you're right. 54 is a lot in an NFL game. Yeah, the clock just doesn't stop ever. No. Hmm. Oh, golly. Who's a... Man, I kind of don't hate Dallas plus six and a half. I think I was wrong about the Cowboys, West. The defense is good. I would like to play the under the total in that game. That's my total. Okay. Defense is both very, very good. Under the total in the game 66 percent of the action on the dallas cowboys plus six in that game feels like a square dog folks mm. feels like philly might win by 17 folks Brody public that's what everyone calls me everyone they calls do me that. everyone calls me that uh it's kind of wild that we just transitioned the show like this like no warning it's just like if you're still listening from the bachelor just fucking flip to this Rocks. Yeah, it is fucking weird. Yeah, it rocks. Who cares? We should probably rethink what we do, but whatever. Who cares? I don't fucking no. We're just no. we're just ripping. I'm just fucking free dogging, free dogging, raw dogging <laughs> life. Yeah, uh, free dogging it, raw balling it, all of it. Um, I think Tampa Bay minus think? eight against Pittsburgh. I think they are on the road. Ah, the Steelers are bad. Kenny Pickett stinks. We called it. The guy is not good. <laughs> He's no good. No shit. Man. No shit. He's no I mean, fucking to be fair, good. To be fair, to be fair, on the road in Buffalo, not great. Not a great spot. No, it's not. For your You're first not start. Wrong about that. Ooh, man, Seattle's a home dog to the Cardinals. I will oh, be taking no. the Seattle Seahawks plus three as my dog. Okay, I got Seattle half, so... I'll I see plus three. three. I don't care what it is, because Seattle's three. winning that game on the field. There's my dog, okay. my favorite. While I do think the Atlanta Falcons are a nice plucky organization and a nice plucky team, San Francisco. That was your favorite last week, and it won. That's the only one bet you won last week, I think. Road favorites again. Carolina stinks. Thank you for that, Carolina. Baker Mayfield, worst quarterback in the league. It's only five and a half. Uh, Fuck it. Give me some San Francisco. Defense is fucking moving. To their credit, Atlanta Falcons 5-0 and against the spread this season. Not not this week, baby. Nope. Not Getting according blown to fucking out. Wes. Blown out. Actually, I hate that, but I'm still going to play it. You know what I'm going to play? What? Jets Packers under 45. Okay. Sure. Slow-paced offenses. Zach Wilson. Maybe he is who I thought he was. 
you know, jury's out. Hasn't been great so far, Zach Wilson. He's been okay. Certainly not good. Been fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all of them. I don't have a lot of takes. Uh, we get to have the rematch of the best game I've ever seen in my life. That's cool. That's very fun. Do we want to do a quarterback tier? Do we want some more hmm. time? Do we want a double tiered show? It's Let's save it. Two shows. It should probably be two shows. Whatever. It's going to be one show. This we should just cut it in half. Just cut it in half. Yeah, that's true. The magic of editing. That's true. We could do that. So when are we going to put this out? Or is this just going to go out? I don't know. Who cares? Put it out tomorrow morning. I don't know. We're just going to put it out like this. Production uh, on the fly, folks. Yeah, we, we need to rethink our strategy here and how Here's we the do thing. these shows. Because like, like no, nobody, I mean, maybe us, I guess, like, we are the only people to be like, I would listen to a two in one NFL game like makes Bachelor in Paradise. Here's the thing. Show. Here's the thing. I can't be recording every fucking night though. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. We gotta figure something out. It's tough. We gotta figure something out. Something's I'm just a man. I've gotta watch all the content to talk about all the content. We can't be recording every night. I'm just a man. Yeah. I need my sleep. Yeah, having a real job and making content. What a, what a pain in the ass. What a racket. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll st- we'll save the tears. We'll but save the tears. You'll get it. You'll oh, get you'll it. get it. We'll feed you. We'll feed mm-hmm. you. Don't you worry. I know you're worried. We'll feed you. Uh, yeah, we can t- touch on a few of the games. Uh, the Rams are toast. They're cooked. They'll probably lose to Carolina. Um, Buffalo, Kansas City. A lot of fun. You think Kansas City is going to win that game? I don't know. I mean, them as a road dog is obviously very appealing. I'm sure me and every other sucker in the world thinks that. But uh, like I said earlier, I think Buffalo's very good. I'm not so convinced they are this runaway favorite of of the league. I think Kansas City is, you know, if we were doing a teams tier, they would both be an S for me. You know? Yeah, both four and one. Very good teams. Yeah, I think they might be the only them and maybe Philly would be the only teams in that tier right now. Yeah, yeah, probably. <clears throat> um, yeah, not a lot of great games. The Thursday nighter, Washington, Chicago, that have you oh. out of your seat? Oh, puke. I mean, puke. That could be torture there could be someone like a prisoner of war you make them watch that the shitty thing is, is i'm gonna watch it oh yeah which is fucked i'm gonna uh, watch honestly, every second of that game th- that that indy denver game it was like it was so bad it was good that i'm gonna be chasing that dragon every time i see like a commander's bears like there's gonna be what seven interceptions total in that game probably more yeah, yeah you know more more. One of the quarterbacks probably going to throw four picks. Well, that's not true because the Bears will throw it like 11 times all game probably. Bears yeah. will be down 21 points. We're just like, well, I'm just going to run halfback dive three yards in a cloud of dust. We're just going to lose on purpose, basically. Yeah. yeah. Well, gross. Uh, Giants, prove it game for real. They finally, you know, play prove the Ravens. Game. It's a big play one. A Six point home dog. I kind of like the Giants game. in that game. Yeah, it seems a little much. Although it's coming different. home, they played. They had to play Sunday. They played in London, and they get have to come home. I feel like you should get a bye after the London game. I thought that was a thing. Yeah, that seems a little fucked. I mean, they both get to play at home, I guess. Uh, you had to play the Ravens too. Seems like not the team you want to play on a fucked tough. up prep week. Yeah, tough. Patriots? Are we back in on the Patriots? They no trash the Detroit Lions. Yeah, talk about I w- was on the lines last week. Talk about just Whoops. full on no showing. Whoops. Trounced. Uh, no, they played Cleveland. They were trounced. Trounced. Uh, I should have known better. Fucking Bill Belichick owns Jared Goff. He knows exactly what the do. It is he wild. Stinks. He can't those, do anything. Those stats, it is insane how poor he plays when Bill Belichick I don't even, is. I don't even know like the stats. I just know bad. Stats are bad, Wes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks. They're they're poor, okay. really poor. Uh, Colts are favored in a game against the Jags. Seems silly, but the Jags, you know, the Jags aren't good either. Just a Jags. lot of mediocre football teams. 
Oh, God. Saints. Hey, if you had Matt Rule like everyone else in the who's going to get fired first pool, you won. Yeah. Big dubs in the chat. A little get right spot for the Rams playing the, no. the lowly Panthers. No, no I, think I, think, I think Carolina covers. Oh, no. What's, I mean, they got to be, what, like seven and a half point underdogs? Ten. Well, I mean, saying they'll cover that seems could be a get right spot and still win by 10 points. Uh, Christian McCaffrey going to get traded to the Rams. Thoughts on no, that? No, they can't afford him. <clears throat> seems like they can just do whatever they want and can afford everybody. That's what I've been told. Um, well, if you look around, the team that they are assembling does not afford everyone because it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It seems like if they'd one of those draft picks used it on some of- offensive linemen, that would have been nice. Banners fly forever. Banners He's got the Super Bowl. Fly Fuck it. Forever. Worth it. If we had Fuck to do it, it all over again, we'd do it the exact same fucking way. We don't give a goddamn shit. Uh, where do you think Christian McCaffrey is going to get traded? Do you think he's going to get traded? Mm. Oh, if he gets traded to Buffalo, that's not going to be fair. Yeah, that'd be so fun. Um, or Kansas City, honestly. I don't know because it's all based on like on contracts and shit. Very few teams can afford him to bring on. It would be a team. How can Buffalo afford him? I mean, they have because... to have one of the highest. Because I mean, Allen's under. He's getting paid. They I don't think his contract Miller. has kicked in yet. Oh, I think uh, he might be on the. Let's see. No, because he just signed it. I don't think it's kicked in yet. Okay, that's why. And then they can do a bunch of shit and cut people in the off season to fit both of them whenever it does kick in. Um, let's see, Jay Jay Sh- Allen. Yeah, he's making sixteen million this year, Josh Allen. Chump change. Next year that that jumps to almost 40 and then 41, 51, 46. So That's this is lot. the last year. This is the window for the Bills. So they can afford them right now if they want. Carolina Panthers, let's see how much he's making. You know what Christian I McCaffrey. don't understand? It seems like there's like a prevailing thought that Brian Burns is just automatically going to get traded. I would not trade Brian Burns. That's no, like he's one of the, the best guy you build the team league. around. <clears throat> yeah, he's twenty four years old. You've got him under control. Why would why would we trade him? I would agree. I, like we'd be so shit lucky. changes fast. Shit changes fast in the NFL. Yeah. CJ Stroud is awesome. You're turned around a lot quicker than you think you are. Yeah, same with DJ Moore. Like DJ Moore, I could you know I could part with him a little bit better, but I I, I would I would kind of not hate keeping him around and seeing he's the the cavalcade of shit quarterbacks he's run with in his career i would like to see what he looks like with you know a cj stroud at quarterback how many times do we have to say it you want to have at least a you know at least a few pieces worth paying so when you get the cheap quarterback you have a window to win keep brian burns and pay him yeah seems to make sense to me agreed Draft CJ Stroud. Uh, yeah. Draft whoever. Try to get a quarterback. DJ Moore seems like there's a lot of teams that could use him. The Packers, I think, would be a great fit. They are obviously desperately in need of a receiver. Yeah, that'd be fun. Especially yeah, I, for all the fantasy teams I have him on. Mm-hmm. I don't really want PJ Walker spinning the pill. Oh. Oh. Man, being a Carolina Panthers fan, you had so much hope, and it has just been dashed so quickly. Yeah, would you rather have PJ Walker or Deshaun Watson and deal with that moral conundrum? Um, yeah, well, I'm paying PJ Walker like the league minimum, probably, and I'm paying Deshaun Watson the most any player's ever been paid before. So I'd probably take PJ Walker, honestly. Damn. All right. Fair enough. Like if uh, th- I mean, maybe it already is. It's probably not. But if this goes poorly for Deshaun Watson, this is going to be the worst contract in the history of sports because yeah, of I how mean, much guaranteed money it is. Is uh, we can talk about that in circles forever. But yeah, let's talk about it on the quarterback tiers list. Yeah, because Deshaun's going to be hitting the field soon. Here's a little article: uh, Ron Rivera and Washington. Christian McCaffrey? Why? Why would no. they want him? They stink. No. Don't want Why? to see that. They're Denver? Bad. 
you know, they're desperate. Running back just got hurt. Would make sense. I think they're in a desperation move. I think Denver would do that. And his dad played for Denver. True. Good point. A lot of there a lot of things running Russ, there. Pan Russ, like forty five million a year. I don't know if they would want to bring on that type of money for a running back, but it, all that would make sense. Yes. Here's the one that'll make you come in your little shorts, Wes. San Francisco 49ers. Get them in that run game. Ooh. Old, old Kyle drawing up some some fucking blocking schemes, getting them out on the edge. Get them a little, what. little shark wheel. Jeff Wilson runs for like 120 and a score every week in that offense. I think McCaffrey would be pretty good. Yeah. Fairly effective in Kyle Shanahan's run scheme. I'm pretty confident in that. Uh, I don't know, man. What? Because he's not young either. Like he wouldn't really be on their timeline. He's like 28 or nine, and for a running back, that's pretty fucking old. Maybe for San Fran, you're saying? No, for Carolina. Just like oh. would they trade him? I would. I mean, yeah, I think. With, I would too. As injury I, to prone honest, as he is, like, I don't think it, they get that much for him. First round pick? You don't? Th- like, no, no. You don't think a team would give up a first round pick to get McCaffrey? A good no. team, let's say. A contending team. May, maybe the Bills would, because it seems kind of like final piece type of... I don't know. He's like under contract. You're giving up Two seconds? a first... Giving up a first-round pick for the right to pay him like $17 million next year. I get he's good. I don't know. Maybe they would. Maybe they would. Yeah. I, well, it's not like the... Know, running back, we've... It's blue till we're blue in the face. People shouldn't pay running backs. That's like the prevailing wisdom. You just kind of... Move on to the next guy, but yeah, yeah, you got to be the, you got to be like the Ram situation. It's like we just we get these next few guys. That's that's it. We got all the Infinity Stones. I'll I'll kill my daughter to get this Infinity Stone. You know what I'm saying? The little and this little Marvel uh, metaphor there. Yeah, sick reference. Um, yeah, yeah I mean th- this is the last year of their window where they're not paying them. So fuck it, do it. Who cares? Fuck them picks, as my guy Les Need likes to say. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, I think um, Bills makes sense. I think San Fran makes sense. Um, Denver, I think it would be a bad move, but I could certainly see the scenario where they talk themselves into that. Um, other than that, don't really have yeah, any, really any sense. good landing spots. I was going to say the Eagles, but the Sanders has been really good, and they have some other guys that are okay. Don't really meh, meh. And also, yeah, I can't. I mean, I got to imagine they have one of the the uh, biggest salaries. In yeah. the in the league, can't imagine they got a lot of room, a lot of guys they can move around. It does help to pay your quarterback next to nothing because you drafted him in like the third or fourth round. Pretty cool. They're set up. They've got the ideal scenario. Advice for all you GMs out there. Yeah, find from us. Find a quarterback that can play at a top ten level in the third round. Pretty Just easy, draft him honestly. later. Just, just don't draft easy. the good quarterbacks early. Draft the good quarterbacks late. Yeah, no one's no one's gonna want to do that. I would trade I all your first really... through third round picks. Only pick yeah. on like the third there day, you go. and that way all your good players are gonna be a fucking steal. Cheap, it's an absolute bargain. Yeah, cheap. Yeah, anyone that's good. Actually, that's fucking genius. Look at the Patriots. They never yeah. pick in the first. All round, their ever. All, all their players suck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't get All talked right. about enough. Bill Belichick, dog shit. In Bad draft at drafting. Usually. Just yeah. drafts the worst fucking players routinely. Correct. All right, that's enough. That's fucking yeah, enough. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's Get, get out of here. Fucking podcast. Shut the yeah. fuck up, idiots. Enjoy your night. Thanks for listening, yeah. everyone. We'll be back for more shenanigans uh, on... When will it come out? Tuesday? Next week? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday. We're Tuesday, Thursday pod. Uh, We'll be back next week for more content. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.